Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we escaped to Itajima, which then broke off, drifted on sea for who knows how long, uh, and crashed into this land via tidal wave. Also, I think there was a, uh, a, uh, thing? Yeah, that's, that's the script of it. I think, oh yeah, also we rescued Shiba and Felix in there at some point. Um, no, that's not it. No, no, wait, how do I open my world map? That's not it. No, no, no. I do not remember how to open my world map. Uh, so before I waste more synergy, I'm gonna just look that up in the next episode. Uh, oh, there's water coming out of there. Well, I guess we'll go this way then. Oh hey, world map! I guess we weren't on the world map before. Go figure. It looked like a world map, but evidently was not. Um... That's interesting. Oh, it's a river! And a town. Dialy. Haro! You don't look familiar. Have you been to D Dialy before? Nope. Well then, welcome to Dialy, the northernmost town on the continent of Indra. That wave turned this place into a swamp! Everything smells like brine! I saw a bright light in the northwestern sky earlier, somewhere over Gondawan. There is, uh, not that I would know anything about that. Hey, we got a smoke bomb, and I am uh, immediately missing reveal. We're gonna need to see if we can't replace that. It is just, just reveal is just. Well, it's just the best synergy in the game. Just straight up. I said it before, and I'll say it now. That no good kid of mine taking his father's fishing pole? I mean, really! If he doesn't come home soon, he's really gonna get it! Although, in fairness, there's a lot more competition for best synergy in the game in Lost Age than there were in the original. Um... But even so, I still think Reveal is probably the best one. It's just that good. Um... Hmm. Well, that sounds problematic. Hmm. Nope. Telly never misses his three o'clock snack sees. <laughs> These- I have- I just realized, these people must be hobbits. They're a little tall for hobbits, but... <laughs> but what other possibility is there? Thank goodness for that mountain range to the north. If that range weren't there, we'd have been washed away for sure. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that wave knocked me over, and now I can't get up! <laughs> you know, I'm sorry for laughing at your misfortune, but it's kind of funny. Um... If you're looking for a boat, you might check over in Mandra. It is... The east path when the road forks. Got it. Oh, hey, we got... Three coins. I don't want to check the jar. Oh, that's also a jar. So West goes to Kandorian Temple. Okay, so we have a choice now. We can go to the temple or the city. Well, let's finish exploring around here first. Yes, I do. What kind of... <laughs> All the boats were destroyed. <laughs> Yep, incentive a jerk sounds about sounds about like 
what we should be in a Golden Sun game. Oh, this is just a chapel. Wait, there's something... You know, there's no way I can get over there right now. Hmm. I want it, but I can't reach it. I guess I'll have to come back later for it. Whatever it is. Because I sure don't know. Um, I actually legitimately don't remember what it is. Yay! Puddles! Yay! <laughs> the ancient tower to the east? Uh, okay. If you say so. Um, pirates, tidal waves. Uh, oh, Briggs was arrested. I don't know who this Briggs is, but apparent. Ah, uh, hmm. But he was apparently arrested? Wait, you mentioned pirates, so Briggs is pro probably a pirate. Uh, that would stand to reason. More money! Woohoo! Lots of folks that hear terrible rumbling to the southeast. Uh, hmm. In all my years as mayor? I mean, you're not right on the sea. You're sort of up the coast a little bit on the river, so... You shouldn't have taken... And behind a mountain range, for that matter. So it's not like you should have taken a full brunt of it. In fact, the amount of water you do have, considering you're behind a freaking mountain, is pretty incredible. Because that mountain would have dispersed something quite seriously. The only water you should have gotten would have been any excess water that came off the river. Which, by comparison to the full brunt, would have been quite minor. Um, how do I, uh, way over here, I suppose? Yeah, um, hmm. None. None. Ah, stop that. No, I said stop it! None. Okay, what are you selling? Any artifacts? Nope, I guess it's too early for that. Also, I only... Well, I have a fair amount of money, actually. But I don't know if this stuff is better than what I currently am wearing. It doesn't really indicate either way. Oh, there, there we go. She has a travel's vest. You have a dress. Does the dress do anything, actually? Um, I don't know. Padded gloves, shields better than gloves. You guys have gloves. Actually, you have an armlet, which is better than gloves. Uh, and hat-wise, you neither of you have hats, so that's our first buy. I would rather have a full equipment loadout. Then we'll worry about upgrading equipment. And, and having said that, let's see, sell this. And artifacts? Didn't really think so. So, longsword. Wait, can she... Either of you, you can use a short sword. So I should give the shaman's rod to her and give you his short sword. Uh, and I should buy you a longsword. Unless this is... That's only plus one. The short sword idea is both cheaper and... Um, gives me a better boost. No! Okay, uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to give this to her. And I want to give this to her. And now I'll sell my other rod. And then I don't have any money. Although I can sell the sleep bomb, I suppose. I'm not going to use it. It's not even that it isn't useful, it's just that I won't use it. I'm really bad about using that kind of consumable. Okay, now that I'm all armed up. 
I can afford a little bit of ar more armor. So, let's see, I don't need gloves. A shield would be kind of nice, that's plus four. But this is also plus four, so let's let's buy a shield, I suppose. Sounds acceptable. Hey, I got a game ticket. I wonder what that's for, because presumably we aren't going back to Tolby anytime soon. Um Okay. I can't afford the vest, so. I'm done shopping, it seems, but I want to see if this does anything. Nope. Okie dokie, then. Oh, you're selling items, actually. Well, I don't want to buy anything. Not that I can afford much in the first place. Hmm. Who are Riki and Tavi? You know what? There's... Wait. Wait. It's a sleep bomb! Okay, there's probably only one thing in here, but let's talk to the merchant. I don't know when I'll be able to return to Mandra. I sure miss the food there. Oh, you. Right. I think I'm about done here. I'm gonna just sell that sleep bomb. Wait, did I sell a smoke bomb before? Oh, smoke bombs are actually more useful than sleep bombs, I think. Uh, I actually have enough money to buy a vest now, so I guess I'll do that. Because it's probably a good idea to be as well armored as possible. Uh, this seems to do more for you than it does Jenna. So... Can't quite afford this, though. Oh, well. Off we go! Ooh. Yep. See? You know all about us, so you must be an adept. Even I know that. You look like you're new around here. Embarking on a dangerous journey into strange lands? I thought so. Well, I'm looking for my companions. We were parted when Mount Elf erupted! Would you mind helping me find them? Not at all, little Ginny. Come on, take me with you! I'll even lend you and your allies my power! You see, the more Ginny you have, the more powerful your synergy becomes! All you have to do is set us and then unleash us in battle! Indeed. Absolutely. I'm so happy. Oh, you won't regret this, I promise. I think it is actually possible to turn down Echo, but you would be a fool to do so. Because, you know, Ginny are amazing. I guess if you're doing like some sort of challenge run, you run, but even then, why not just like un- you can still collect all the Ginny even if you're doing like a low or no Ginny challenge run. You just turn them off. Um, pretty much. What? No, I, okay, fine. And we got Echo! And on that note, wait, what? Why is Felix in the front? I distinctly remember putting him in the back. Like so, because I sort everyone by agility. That's how we do things here. Although realistically, Felix should actually be in between the two girls, uh, both because it's a bit gives them a better. <laughs> let's let's not continue that thought. But because of the same reason that you should spread out um, Maya and Ivan in the first game. Because you have better protection against multi-target spells if you put your strong characters in between your weak characters. So we're going to go to the Shrine of the Sea God. I don't think there's much we can do here, but we're here! 
All right, I'm gonna throw the rope again. Just don't miss this time. Hmm. Oh no, you missed the game! I thought I got lucky when the wave carried me up here. What are you, crazy? It knocked you stupid for a good ten minutes! <laughs> okay, so... This isn't... Hmm, maybe there's something further in. Because we actually need synergy to do this. That synergy that we do not currently have, I should say. Oh, this is for leaving. But, for all I know, because I really don't recall, we might get the synergy inside of here? I mean, there's only one way to find out. That's by doing it! Wow, You scared me! I thought you were... One of the grown-ups from Dyla. So, who are you? Look, I'm kind of busy trying to help my pal Tavi right now, okay? Uh... Hmm... Is that so? Okay, I do not think we can do this right now. That's sort of my impression. For one thing, this guy's in the way, but also... It's kind of looking like we might need to douse that flame, which obviously we cannot do because we ha don't have a douse gem or a water adept. So, I guess we'll come back here later. Especially now that we know there's little children in trouble. I mean, we gotta do something about that, right? The only people who are allowed to endanger children in this game are ourselves and, um, the villains. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go west first. Giant bat. Okay, let's just, um... Can I? Nope. I cannot. That didn't quite do it. Okay, um, now it's dead. And so is it. And now I have a much better grasp of what my power situation is like. Wow, this goes further than I thought it would. You know, maybe let's go t to that town with the pirate first, on second thought. Yeah, I think that's closer, so that would make sense. Plus also, I haven't actually looked up how to open my world map yet. I really need to do that. Like, I really need to do that. <laughs> Um, hello, Punchant. Haven't I already fought one of you? I'm pretty sure I have. Let's do that. Be nice if you had some unleashes there, Shiba. But, you know, whatever. It's not strong. It really isn't. Um, anything down here? Not really, no. Just more Punchants. Except this one caught me off guard. We're gonna need to work on that. Not being caught off guard. Um. Let's see. I mean, we gotta be pretty close now. Maybe. I mean, we don't really. What is that? Mini Goblin and Wild Wolf? What? Both of these are new to me. Well. No, no, that se statement seems more or less correct. Okay, they're also pretty tough, it seems. Okay, I mispredicted the damage that goblin can take. Seriously? Hmm. Let's try it this way this time. Yeah, maybe we should have gone the other way first, because these guys definitely seem like a level up from what we've been fighting so far. And also, what is this? Um... Plateau. I don't like the look of that. You know, let's stop off here. Join me next time when I figure out where I'm going! But until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!